Batman. How did you hack into my security cameras? Using Google. But how? Google hacking. Or Google dorking is a legit technique that hackers use. It basically means using Google to find files and pages that are not secure. Or information that has been made public by accident. Like maybe someone may have accidentally exposed their passwords or maybe left their webcam open to the internet. And as hackers, that's also what we're hoping for when we're doing these searches on Google. And if we search in just the right way, using the right keywords and some Google search operators, we can find some crazy stuff. So let's go and have some fun. Disclaimer. Note that all the activities demonstrated in this video are both ethical and legal, as we will be solely focusing on conducting passive reconnaissance and exploring how to access publicly available information on the internet using Google. However, it is still important to be aware of the legal boundaries and I will clearly indicate where those boundaries exist later in the video. Okay, so let's say I'm thinking of buying a gaming laptop and I conduct a search on Google. In this scenario, Google will present me with various gaming laptops available on different websites across the internet. But as a hacker, we don't want to search like this. We want to narrow down our search and find exactly what we're looking for. We can achieve this using Google search operators, and the first one we're going to use is called Site Colon. Maybe I don't want to see the search results for gaming laptops from the entire internet. Maybe I want to narrow them down to a particular website, like Amazon. For this, I'll use use the search operator site colon, and then specify the website I want to search in like this. And upon hitting enter, if I scroll through here, you can see that it only pulled up results that were from Amazon.com. This practice is what we essentially refer to as Google hacking or Google dorking. Now you might be thinking, okay cool, we learned how to search for things on a specific website using Google, but this isn't hacking. You're right, let's hack. So let's say we still want to search the site Amazon, but now we're interested in finding something more intriguing in the URL, like admin, to see if we can discover any web interface login pages for Amazon. For this, I'm going to use another search operator called in URL. So if I go back here and type in URL, then search for the keyword admin. It will list all the pages that have the keyword admin somewhere in their URL. Now why would I search for that? Well so hopefully I can discover web pages or sites that Amazon doesn't want me to see and find potential vulnerabilities. Now some other search operators similar to in URL are in text and in title. The in text search operator will search for the keyword admin anywhere in the body of web pages and not just in the URL. Whereas the in title search operator searches for the keyword in the titles of web pages, which may come in very handy when searching for login pages. Another Another one which I think is probably one of the coolest is the file type search operator. Using this, you can search Amazon.com for different types of publicly available files hosted on their website. So for example, if I specify file type right here, and set that to PDF, it will list all the publicly available PDFs at Amazon.com. Now I know that looking at this information might seem silly and harmless, but it can actually be quite dangerous. For instance, let's consider a scenario where a hacker is searching for publicly available PDFs on Amazon and suddenly stumbles upon a file containing the names of thousands of Amazon employees along with the links to their social media accounts. With this information, the hacker could then attempt to hack their social media accounts, hoping to find something that would help in compromising Amazon's security, or the hacker could simply try to dig up some dirt on the employees in order to blackmail them into providing any sensitive information. Now this is where the legal boundaries I mentioned at the start of the video become crucial. It's important to emphasize that engaging in anything resembling the scenario I described would be unethical and illegal. Always remember that while examining publicly available information in an ethical manner is legal, misusing that information crosses the legal line. Speaking of employees, Google dorking can also be used to find information on specific individuals. For example, if you possess the full name of a person, you can try to find every publicly available PDF, Word document, or Excel sheet that is hosted online using the file type search operator. So you would first enter the victim's name enclosed in inverted commas like this, and then specify the types of file you want to search for. The OR search operator used here tells the search engine to also include Excel or Word documents in the search result. Upon hitting enter, the search results will display all the documents that may be associated with the provided name. Next, before ending the video, I want to tell you about a cool website called the Google Hacking Database. To find it, just search for it on Google and click on the first thing that pops up. So this is basically a website where several people have created and posted multiple Google search strings that could expose potential vulnerabilities. For example, if we search for webcam here, it will give us a variety of searches that we can perform to find webcams that are just open to the internet with no password. So if I search for this string right here, I'll get a variety of webcams that are just open for us to view, like this one right here. Now if you think this is kind of scary, wait till you explore the Google hacking database yourself, and see what else you can do with the different search strings available there. Anyway guys I'm gonna stop the video right here, but you can go ahead and have hours of fun doing this. If you have any questions regarding the video, make sure to ask them in the comments section down below, and I will see you in the next one.